lot about the, the threats of changes in sea ice and how that will affect polar bears, but there's another habitat feature that is under threat uh, these days, and that's uh, the fact that most maternity denning in the Hudson Bay uh, system occurs in permafrost features such as pulses or frozen peat banks of lakes. And uh, some of the theoretical work suggests that much of the permafrost in the Hudson Bay lowlands will be gone by the 21st, end of the 21st century. So these are important maternity denning features. Females dig into the frozen peat, excavate a, a shallow den, and that's where they go into the den to have their cubs in December. So pulses have a natural life cycle of two or three hundred years in the Hudson Bay lowlands. They start out as a lens of ice that doesn't melt one year, slowly gets bigger and bigger and bigger, pushes up, pushes the peat above the surface of the water, the peat dries out, eventually gets colonized by all kinds of plants, and ultimately as the pulsa gets bigger and bigger and bigger, pushes well above the water table and you can get trees, in fact, growing on it. And once these pulses get to be about a meter and a half or two meters high, female polar bears will dig into the side of them to construct a maternity den. With climate change and, and global warming, the threat is that pulses will no longer be able to reach that height, so they won't be attracted to the bears. Uh, but even, even more, they'll have a shorter life cycle, so they'll start to deteriorate. And once the lens of ice starts to melt in the center of the pulsa, peat dries out on the outsides and sloughs off, and the bears don't find that attractive. So the, th the threat is that bears will lose that feature as a maternity denning structure.